welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new here, if you're <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week: beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. Welcome to Beauty with the Purpose, and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys. So for today's video, I have for you guys my. This is a makeup haul. It's Ulta. Some of it I got in PR from Influencer, but most of it I got during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I'm not going to title that anymore because it's far after the 21 Days of Beauty sale. I actually wanted to upload this last week, the week of the first, like the end of September, beginning of October, but you know, life happens. I ended up sick and then I just left y'all hanging for an entire week with no video, no explanation. I was death was knocking on my door but we are here and so let's go ahead and just talk about some of the things that I got I got some skincare uh, a lot of it is makeup a lot of it is makeup majority of it is makeup so I'm gonna just start grabbing and we're just gonna start talking about it I may may not do some swatches dag nab it I meant to grab a cotton swab not a cotton swab but a cotton this cotton ram that's what I meant to grab. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna swatch some of it, play with some of it, see some of it on the lips. But the first thing I did pick up was the mini Jaclyn Hill highlighter in ice. Now this one is just so pretty. I actually cannot, I, like, I cannot stop reaching for this highlighter actually. It is such a pretty lip and highlighter. Like, do you see that? So freaking just, oh my gosh, iced, it's icy. So icy, so icy. But it's like a glowy icy. It's not like chalky or like metallic. It's like a glowy icy, which I really, really like. Okay, the next thing I picked up was actually the Bare Minerals Eye Brightener Well Rested Concealer. So it's just like a powder concealer. I absolutely love this. You don't need a lot of this. A little bit of this goes a really long way, or at least for me, I don't know, personal preference. But for me, a little bit of this goes a really long way. I really, really like this. And again, this is just in the shade Well Rested. It adds like the perfect amount of brightness, just enough to literally make you look well rested. Okay, so I've been into powder foundations lately. So I thought, I had bought the Well Rested Powder first, and so I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll like this. So I did go ahead and pick up the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation, and I got the shade Golden 13 Nude. Now, don't let this fool you. I have used it before, and this is so, like, it's really good. It's really, really good. Like, I have no complaints about that whatsoever. The, perf the shade is perfect, and then it comes with obviously the little sponge in here like all powder foundations come with and it's just the perfect amount of coverage for like every day it's not going to give you like super duper high coverage like for instance the l'oreal foundation powder it's not like that it's a, it's like somewhere but it's like a step below that but it's still really good and i really like it because you can still see like my skin underneath it it doesn't add like that weird gray cast like the l'oreal one does for me I don't know what's going on about that. Do you have a problem with the L'Oreal from powder foundation doing that? So this is just, you see, so like it covers, obviously it's gonna cling. So I don't think that this would be good for like having like dry patches or dry spots or problem areas. I use this like on an everyday type of like hurry up and get out the door type of makeup day where I wasn't breaking out but I would not recommend this for breaking out or dry spots or for makeup that you've had on all day long okay so just to con continue on with face products another one that I picked up was the Urban Decay All Nighter Set Waterproof Setting Powder I don't have a lot of setting powders. I'm gonna quit buying high-end setting powders. But um, this is just what the packaging looks like. And this one, I mean, it doesn't have a shade and I believe that this is the only one that they had. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But this one is really soft. I used it on top of my makeup today and from what I can tell, it really is doing a really good job of like my makeup not moving, my blush is still there, my bronzer, my highlighter. Like it's doing a good job of holding everything into place. I did actually sweat a little bit today and I mean everything stayed in place. It's My makeup's only worn off really around my nose, like right here, but that might be sunburn peeking through, like my chest is sunburned. But 
yeah this is um i did go ahead and pick this up as well and what i'm noticing is that you can actually just replace the pan you can poke it out but yeah that is the urban decay all-nighter waterproof setting powder i really wanted to try it i probably need to wear that on a day that i work out to really put it to the test and see how it works um but yeah let's talk about these blushes i did pick up two ulta beauty blushes i got um i got this one in quenched this one does have a sheen to it but i really really liked the undertone in it and how it was kind of like coppery and so that one is so pretty i'm wearing this one today it adds the prettiest glow it's not too much it's not going to add like a highlighter glow it kind of just adds like a glow from within right on the apples of your cheek and this is just so pretty i really liked this one now this one just looking at it in the pan this one is sunday drive i expected this one to have a little bit more shade to it but it's actually a tiny bit ashy like once you open it it's a tiny bit ashy but don't get me wrong these blushes do last a really long time i just wish that this one wasn't so like if you're if you're fair this is gonna look really really pretty on you the pink one but for me i'm gonna have to wait closer to winter to use it because if i try to use it right now like i said my face is just gonna look ashy <laughs> it's a little too light for me right now but that's a really pretty blush i may actually try to give that to one of my friends who's a lot more fair than me but nonetheless okay so let's get into some lip products that i purchased from the actual sale okay so the first thing i guess we could talk about is i picked up only one lip kit from kylie and i picked up the one in the shade autumn obviously for very obvious reasons um this is just what the lip liner looks like it's super pretty it's not as orange brownie as I expected it to be or wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a little bit deeper than what it actually is. And the lip liner is actually a little bit, a smidge too pink for the actual liquid lipstick. I don't know if maybe, no, they're both autumn. So I don't know if they intended for it to be like that, but I figured the lip liner would have been deeper than the liquid lipstick but as you can see they're both really they're, i mean it's a really pretty color i just wanted something a little bit more deeper but i mean that's okay i you know i have a deeper liquid lipsticks and then i don't know if you guys remember whenever these went on sale for like a day obviously 21 days of beauty but i bought three of the smashbox always on liquid lipsticks i believe they had them on sale for 10 bucks I believe it was like 10 bucks that they had these on sale for. So I always hear Juicy Jazz and Casey Holmes raving about the um, the formula of these. So the first one I got is always, um, Fair Game, which is actually both of like their favorite nude from this line. And it's just this pretty brown nude, just like that. I feel like this one is gonna be so pretty. I haven't used this one yet. I feel like this one's gonna be so pretty with like a deep brown, outer and then like put this in the middle that's gonna be so pretty and then this one is called audition this one i thought was gonna be a little bit more brown but it's not so this one is audition these are those tones that if your husband or boyfriend seen you buy these they would be like why did you buy three of the same lipsticks and we would seem crazy like they're not the same they're not the same because they're truly not the same so that one is called audition so i got fair game audition and these are pretty much just liquid lipsticks to wear in the center of my brown lip liner that i love so much and then this one is in the shade stepping out so far this one has been my favorite shade the one that i have used because it's just it is so pretty none of these are as deep as i expected them to be um but they are all so so very pretty so that one is stepping out and those are the three shades that i ended up picking up and they're just so pretty and i mean they feel soft they dry down matte they don't like feel like I don't, how can i explain it kind of like super dry to where your lips feel cracked they don't feel like that so super excited about these the next thing i did pick up were i picked up the brow products from ulta beauty so i did pick up the um ultra brow this the ultra slim and then i picked up the 
what is this called sculpting brow pencil and then I picked up the ultra slim brow pencil so I got one in dark brown and one in espresso but honestly dark brown and espresso they're just two different lines but they're the exact same color so this is the ultra slim brow pencil in dark brown so that is dark brown in the ultra slim brow pencil and then this one is in espresso which is in the um, sculpting brow pencil now these are more on the dry side but they don't budge and they're like like they go they apply perfectly when you're actually applying them to your actual brows they're great but they are more on the dry side and like i said the shades are pretty similar so if you're dark brown in the ultra slim brow pencil and you want to try the thicker one get espresso vice versa they're the same color just different names Okay, and I did pick up two pairs of House of Lashes lashes. Now, I was going to pick up another pair of my Iconic Lights, but I was like, I could just clean these and keep these forever. So I picked up the regular Iconics, which were these ones. Again, I got these for six bucks. Picked up this pair, and then I also picked up a pair in Juliet. I haven't wore the Juliet pair yet. I'm super excited to. I feel like these would be really pretty for a date night. But again, I really liked the pair that I received in an Ipsy. And so I wanted to buy more and what better time than whenever they're on sale for six bucks each. Okay, and the last thing that's actually makeup that I bought is this right here. This I really wanted this palette. I was eyeballing the Too Faced Born This Way palette, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I want that palette. Just something about the way that the eye, like it's so intriguing to me, but at the same time, like I just don't want it. Like it's the weirdest feeling, so I, I didn't buy it because I feel like the shades that I got in this palette are pretty similar, not the same, but similar. And I just like the layout of this one better. I like how everything's symmetrical. There's just something about palettes being laid out in a non-symmetrical way that makes me not like them or make me want them. So I picked up the Lorac Pro palette, and I believe you pronounce this Soleil the Soleil palette and it's just, this this is perfect first of all for fall like look at that perfect for flipping fall You've got the browns it's bronzy and like all of these shimmers so like this entire side over here is matte this entire side is shimmer and I just feel like this is just such a perfect palette and I'm glad that I went with this one over the Too Faced one, just color wise and the way it's set up and things like that. So let me just swatch all of these on my arm. So these are all the mattes, super powdery, but they are so freaking pretty and pigmented. So we have, oops, starting up here, warm vanilla, pink beige, nectar, sand dune, Morocco cinnamon and then down here red cedar saffron ash brown I feel like this one would have been red cedar I don't know but it's it's, it's saffron and then we'll wipe those off and we will swatch the shimmers this is my first time swatching the shimmers with you guys how freaking pretty are those so shimmers you have opal, you have soft pearl, aurora, and then you have quartz, mirage, and desert rose, and then you have mojave, warm honey, and euphoria. And euphoria. Oh my god. I cannot wait to actually play with, play with this palette. I've played with the mattes, but I had no idea the shimmers were that pretty. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with those metallic slash shimmers. So freaking pretty. But yeah, I picked up this palette and that is the last makeup thing that I bought. So now we're just gonna get into some skincare. Now these are actually favorites of mine. Shower care, skincare type deals. These are their Wim um, shower flower steamers. Now if you put these directly under where the shower's pouring down, you're only gonna get one shower out of these. So obviously like we have a regular bathtub shower setup. So I like to set mine at the opposite end of the shower so that way it gets sweat and it gets steamy but it lasts like three or four showers. Now my favorite one is the Breathe and I went through, I bought about four of each and so I've gone through a lot of these especially whenever I was sick because I wanted to breathe and I couldn't smell anything and it was terrible. But um, 
yeah i bought like four of these these are really really good again if you set it where water can hit it but not in the direct line of water you can get about three to four showers out of those and then i got the unwind ones which i've only used one of those so yeah i got the unwind ones and i got those on sale for seven a dollar 75 each they're usually 350 so yeah and then i picked up this watermelon refresh sleeping mask hydrating so wait is this for your face oh my gosh i thought this was for your lips and i put this on my lips one day and then whenever i took it out too when i took it out i was like wow that's big for this is a big sleeping mask for your lips but it's because it's for your face Allie. oh well we're here now and we don't we revived our lips with our Vaseline. So yeah, picked up this watermelon refresh sleeping mask. Didn't realize it was for your face. I thought it was for your lips. Anyways, neither here nor there. Okay, and then I did go ahead and pick up some of their mud mask as well as a rose sheet mask. Now I got rose because some of the um, ingredients in here are actually pretty good for um, breakouts and soothing the skin so i picked up two rose sheet masks from the ulta beauty line and then i picked up apple cider vinegar which is really good for breakouts and these are mud masks so these will kind of make a mess you'll need a brush but yeah i did go ahead and pick up two of those my skin's been freaking out so i might do that rose sheet mask tonight um, and then I picked up these healthy hydration under eye patches. I have used one set of them They're really really cooling and they feel really good underneath the eyes And I really do feel like it plumps underneath your eyes whenever you use them So I really like using these in the morning and that is it of everything that I bought from the sale I Realized I had bought so much and I feel like there was even more but it was probably just those whim shower flower things But I just used so many of them already so yeah, and then the rest of this stuff is stuff that I was sent in Influencer, so I did not buy any of this. This was sent to me to try out and just do reviews on, and yeah, honest reviews. But, and I didn't even have to mention it on my channel. But the first thing I did receive was actually a full size of the one size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist. I used this today. I don't like the mister. I can already tell you that I don't, it sprays weird. Like it, maybe I'm spraying it too fast. That is my issue with setting sprays. It smells really good. I will give it that. It smells really good, but I also don't feel like this looks very luminous. I feel like my face has looked pretty dry most of the day, and I don't know if it's the other products that I use, but usually even if I use mattifying products and I spray a luminous spray on top, I shook it and everything, you guys, it'll look luminous i don't get that from this so i will keep trying it right now again my first day trying it i'm not i don't think it's anything miraculous my makeup is lasting long but I, if you're gonna tell me it's luminous please be luminous because that's what i'm looking forward to but yeah i'm gonna keep trying it out okay and the next thing that i received was this redken acidic perfecting concentrate this is a leave-in hair treatment heat protection intense conditioning heat protection styling and hydration aid styling aid hydrating hydration intense protection um and yeah so this is basically citric acid apply to damp apply to clean damp hair leave in do not rinse so this is definitely something that you would use after your shower but i'm really scared because it says acidic but it smells really good it actually smells like the one size spray it smells pretty good Man. Okay, the next thing I got for to try out was the Coach New York Floral Perfume. Oh my gosh, I smelled this. First of all, how cute is this little bottle? Again, you won't always get full-size things from influencers. Sometimes they're just trial-size things, but free is free. So, And this is a lot of perfume, especially with higher-end perfumes. You don't need humongous bottles. And this smells so good to me so freaking good it kind of smells like candy but floral uh can't wait let me add that to my little fancy perfume collection back here all these perfumes i've gotten from influencer okay and so the last thing i got actually came in all one box and i got all of this new stuff from giorgio armani like how crazy so the first thing i got was their hydrating primer base this is their luminous 
Okay, so this is their Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer Base. This is really good. I actually really, really like this. I have used this a few times. I just don't like that it pours out like immediately once you take the lid off. It doesn't really have a smell and it really is hydrating, but it's also smoothing is something that I noticed. Like, look at that. Like a little bit of that goes a really, really long way. Like I really do agree with the name, like Luminous Silk. Like they couldn't have came up with a more perfect name. I know they have a foundation called that. So if the foundation's anything like the primer, like perfect freaking name. But yeah, that did receive that. And then these are three of their, what are these called? Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Lip Colors. So this one is in the shade Tadzio. Tadzio. And this is just a super nude one. So I will actually show you guys this on the lips because I actually need to take pictures in them. So this one is actually not as nude as I thought it would be on its own. It's actually quite pretty. It's just like that pinky nude color. Hurry up. It's just like that pinky nude color. And these are not lips. <laughs> you okay? These are not lips that dry down matte. These actually, kind of like they say, they, they really feel like you put velvet on your lips. Like I really, really like these. And again, that's the shade um, 103 Tadizo. Tadizo. And then this is the color Palazzo. This is a really pretty fall color. Okay, so that is Palazzo. This one's a little bit patchy. I feel like I'd have I'd be able to apply it better if I had on a lip liner. And then again, I like that these are actually pretty moisturizing. And then the last color is Rose Nomad. And just look at that like so freaking pretty they apply so easily so smoothly and i'm not just saying this because i got them for free i'm saying this because they really do feel that good on your lips like no lie you guys they feel so good on your lips all right you guys and that is it for this random makeup haul slash free products that i got um this color is really pretty i've only used this one which is which one was this? Tadizo? Tadzio? Tadzio? I don't know. But it's really pretty, really soft. I really like the way that they feel on the lips. They're truly just like a lipstick that you apply with a wand. Because that's kind of the texture that they have. So they are going to transfer. They are going to wear off. You are going to have to reapply. I really do like those though. But yeah, you guys, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys find something that maybe you want to buy one day. Or try out. Or want me to do i don't know just anything i don't know but yeah i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.